right, number five. So we're going to get two critical values, um, whatever makes this function equal zero uh, from the top and the bottom. All right, so with the top x plus four, um, x equals negative four, <coughs> we'll make the top zero and zero divided by any number is going to be zero. So that's one critical value in the bottom. Uh, x minus four gives us x equals four. So we get these two critical values here. And then we're going to um, make a number line and do the same thing. Find out where it's positive or negative. So negative infinity, positive infinity, negative four, positive four. And let's just do, I can do negative 10 over here, zero and positive 10. I like to try to use some big even numbers I can use really nice so with this one I will have 10 plus 4 over 10 minus 4 when I do this positive positive so the overall answer is positive so this section here is positive I'll plug in a 0 I have 0 plus 4 and 0 minus 4 this will give me a negative positive divided by negative gives me a negative here and then if I plug in, oh, I messed this up. This should be a negative 10 and a negative 10. That's negative. Negative divided by negative will still be positive, so it works out. Negative 6 and negative, okay. Um, Got to be careful with the signs. So this one is positive. This one is negative. And then with the positive 10s, it would be the same as what I thought I did the first time. So 10 plus 4. 10 minus 4 positive positive so overall we get a positive alright so we want to know where it's greater than 0 so we want to know where it's positive so that would be from 4 to infinity and from negative infinity to negative 4 these are the areas where this guy is going to be positive can't even see the answer part here all right so we're just going to say parentheses negative infinity make this a little bit bigger all right parentheses negative infinity to negative 4 negative infinity to negative 4 and then union 4 4 to infinity 